But you know, um, last week, we asked some questions around the reappointment for a five-year term of the Governor of the Reserve Bank, Adrian Orr, and certainly Michael Reddle, who came on, uh, not the only person, severely, and I would say in the history of Reserve Bank governors, severely criticising Adrian Orr on a number of fronts and severely criticising his reappointment by this government. And why is the job important? Well, so I'm told, and I'm no economist, and I wouldn't know the gross domestic product if I fell over it in the street. Um, it's important to our economy and therefore our economic well-being, therefore our standard of living, the cohesiveness of our society, the happiness, I guess, of all of us as individuals. So how do we know whether the Reserve Bank Governor is doing a good job? whether he is fulfilling his mandate. Well, actually, apparently there's now some sort of new app which will tell you that. And the person who's put it together and maybe can answer some of my questions about Adrian Orr and monetary policy is Christopher Schumacher. He's an economist at Massey University and he joins us now. Uh, Christoph, welcome to the programme. Lovely to have you with us. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. All right. Look, first up, I'm going to give you the pitch first. You've put together, you've got a, an app or a, or a website that monitors the performance of the Reserve Bank. Tell us about that. It's not strictly the performance of the Reserve Bank. It's a, it's a website, GDP Live, it's GDPLive.net, that shows you what the current GDP is in New Zealand, what the current inflation rate is in New Zealand, and what the gap is between the current. Uh, OCR and where it actually should sit, our official cash rate. So that indirectly, of course, yeah, also I, I want to keep the performance. Yeah, of the Christoph, I want to keep this simple. So I'm going to ask you to go right back to basics for people like yeah, me. Sure. What is the GDP? Gross GDP domestic. GDP is your gro yeah. product. It, it effectively is a snapshot of how healthy our economy currently is. It simply adds up all the money that is spent in market-based transactions. So every time you buy something, it's measured as part of the GDP. So it gives us an idea how much economic activity, activity is currently happening. So essentially, it's a snapshot of how healthy our economy okay. is. Okay. What is the OCR for the Great Unwashed? The o yeah, the OCR is the official cash rate. This is where the Reserve Bank decides how much money banks need to pay them if they borrow money, and that translates directly into how much interest you pay for mortgages or if you overspend on your credit card. Okay, so yeah, the, the OCR is, is the official cash rate, which is set by the Reserve Bank, that correct. decides yep. the price of money, essentially. Exactly, absolutely right, and it hurts everyone in the big pocket because every time it goes up, you get a letter from the bank saying we've increased your mortgage rate. Um, that's why it is so important for everybody to know what that rate is. Okay, so that's it, the cost of money. And what is inflation? And I know this sounds really basic, but I was thinking about this over the weekend. What is inflation? And why is it so bad? Infl inflation is simply the price of goods going up. For example, if you go to the supermarket today, you pay $6.50 for a little lettuce. If that same lettuce uh, cost you $3 uh, a year ago, that's inflation. The same product costing more money today than it did last month. All right. Is there a perfect equation where all those things have a, a value that works and is the best place for an economy to be? Absolutely. When it comes to uh, the OCR in inflation, there's something called a Taylor rule, which most reserve banks use, and it guides them how high the OCR actually should be so that the economy is working at its optimal level. All right. So what does your website measure by gathering data on these, uh, on these indicators? It, it measures inflation, what it is right now. So you can go on and see inflation today in New Zealand, for example, is just over 7.3%. It also measures and tells you what this optimal OCR should be, and it should be just over 7%. Uh, and it shows you the gap between what the Reserve Bank so, has so, said. So when which, you've got inflation of 7.3%, you should have an official cash, cash rate of just over 7%. There is a, 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 uh, there's some sort correct. of equation that says that. 
It, that's absolutely correct. The, the Reserve Bank has only got one tool to control inflation, and yeah. that is to change the cost of money. The more money costs, the less people will borrow and the less people will spend. So if you increase your OCR, it stops spending. And what is inflation? Well, inflation means people spend more than they really should. Yeah. If the same number of products are available, but pe more people want to buy it, the price goes up. Okay. So there's a straight link between the OCR and your okay. inflation. So you're saying with inflation at 7.3%, <coughs> the OCR should be 7%, right? Cor correct. That's what the Taylor okay. rule uh, would okay. suggest. And what is it actually at the moment? What is the gap at the moment? Uh, well, the current OCR is 3.5%. So we are sitting with a gap uh, of just under 4%. And that's way too high by this rule, by this uh, equation. That is, that, is the, that is A, way too high, and B, the biggest gap we've ever seen in New Zealand. Even during the global financial crisis, this gap was below 2%. Just to give you an idea how massive the current gap is, we are now twice the gap it was during the worst part of the global financial okay, crisis. Okay, and what is the problem? And uh, I know I'm, I'm not exactly top of the class here. What is the problem of, with that gap being so wide? What problems does that create? <clears throat> well... It, still, it doesn't encourage people to spend less, which means it still fuels the inflation and it essentially overheats our economy. Right. So you're saying what the Reserve Bank should do is put up interest rates even further? Yes. Yep. Absolutely. That's okay. What, uh, okay. Look, this is wonderful because sometimes, and I've got plenty of friends who are economists and involved in the banking industry, my eyes glaze over. You've actually put it really, really simply... Uh, for me today, and I think I understand it in some ways better than I ever have. Um, so you it's are now running this website that tracks these numbers in their relationship, and importantly, that gap, that gap between the OCR and the inflation rate, which you say is as bad as it's ever been in modern history in New Zealand, if we take it that that being out of whack is a bad thing. And I'm presuming that as an economic baseline, this isn't a controversial, wacky theory you've got. You're not an outlier in terms of your interpretation of economics. No, absolutely not. And this uh, Taylor rule is used by Reserve Bank around the world, uh, pushed by the, by the US. So no, this is a very uh, accepted and standard okay. economic tool that is used all around the world and taught in classrooms around the world to students. Mm. Now, you are therefore, I guess, monitoring this and updating this every day? Correct. We do this every day. Yep. Okay. Do you see a trend emerging or are we kind of stuck with this gap that we've got now? Or is it getting wider or uh, is it getting narrower? <clears throat> at the moment, it's still getting slightly wider. Uh, oh. It's huge when you just look look at the graph. It's, uh, it, it's massive, but we also expect at the end of the month a change in the OCR. The governor will change the OCR and the expectation yeah. is that it will be an, an increase in order to get ahead of this. There's no other way of controlling the inflation we currently have but by increasing the OCR. Yeah. Look, what I like for what you've done for me today, uh, Christoph, is you've given me... <clears throat> some, if you like, some facts about why people are upset with Adrian Orr. But it also seems to me there seems to be a personal animus towards him by a lot of people about his style and other things. But here you're only making a judgment based on the numbers before you, right? Absolutely. Look, I'm a researcher, so I'm not political with this, but I'm just saying this, these are the facts. The gap has been, is bigger than ever before. Inflation is going up. We need to do something about it, and the Reserve Bank governor, who should, is not. So uh, this is simply facts and numbers based, and these numbers don't lie, actually. So this yeah. is for everyone to see. Go online, and we have also tracked this gap for the last 20 years and have actually put the different names of the Reserve Bank governors on there. Oh, so you wow. So you've, okay, this sounds really good. Just slowly again, and I'm not getting down in yep. your accent, where do people access this? GDPLive.net. GDPLive, all one word, dot, yeah. one word, yeah. dot, net, net. Yeah. And it's free? I'm not going to get bombarded? It's free. 
Okay. You, you get not get combined with anything. This is a research output. Uh, this is free to everyone. Okay. Why? I'll ask you another question, and, and you can answer in an academic sense or, or a political sense. Why would a Reserve Bank governor not try and close the gap vis-à-vis the Taylor Rule? Uh, I. I I have no idea uh, why this has not been happening. It, the only reason could be more politically driven. Um, even though the Reserve Bank should be independent from government, it appears not to because um, the Reserve Bank was also printing money and pushing into the economy while the inflation has already bolted, while it already went way up. The gap when financial uh, quantitative easing stopped was already over 2%. So uh, I can only assume that there must be some um, political motivation from push from the government okay. otherwise i have no idea why it's yeah. not christoph do we have a legislative set of parameters and instructions for the governor of the reserve bank and if we do <laughs> is he operating in accordance with his legislative instructions or parameters the answer is absolutely no um, there is uh, rules in place saying that the Reserve Bank governor needs to keep inflation between 1 and 3%. So there's the band and with a target inflation rate of 2%. Uh, and this has been made very clear. We target inflation... Well, he's missing that by a country mile, isn't he? He's way <laughs> off, mark. He, he's he is missing it by a country mile. And this is why, and again, this is not political or personal. This is just purely objective based on number. If your target rate is 2%, if your instructions are to keep inflation between 1% and 3%, and we currently have 7.3%, you've not done your job. As simple as that. Purely based on numbers and nothing else. But it's not a job that is actually achievable under certain global conditions, is it? Absolutely. I mean, uh, first of all, uh, the OCR is the only tool a reserve bank governor has, and it's yeah. not sort of the magic bullet that no. will fix anything. But uh, it would have helped uh, to stop inflation, to go for prices and assets to just go up. It would have cooled down um, the employment market as well. So it does do certain things. And we have believed in this OCR as being the bu magic bullet yeah. that keeps inflation down. So uh, if, if that's what we've been doing, then do it. Mm. Christoph, I, look, this is... This is really interesting stuff. Would you mind if we regularly publish the results of GDPLive.net on the platform? Yeah, yeah no, please go straight ahead. Straight. Yeah. yeah. Um, I look, mean, that's what, what we are doing to push it out so that people actually know that it's not a guessing game anymore. What we want is transparency, and we are helping to create this transparency. When you always wonder how on earth does a reserve bank governor set the OCR, uh, is it because in which mood he's in. No, no, there is data there. It needs to be available. And really what we ask for is transparency and honesty. And if the Reserve Bank governor tells us the inflation is, is created by the war in, in, in on the Ukraine, then it's just not correct because our uh, draft will show so that, that the, yeah. gap, the gap was yeah. already so huge by yeah. the time that happened. Christopher, so on your graph and your data... Who, in modern times, was the best Reserve Bank governor we ever had? Um, uh, that is probably uh, tricky to say because it's a whole mix. Don Bresch wasn't actually bad as a governor. Oh. Uh, Graham Wheeler was unbelievably conservative. He kept the OCR above where it should be, right through his entire reign. Yeah. Whereas uh, uh, Alan Bollard uh, was more relaxed with it and kept the OCR almost always um, below where it should actually be. So it shows the character of Reserve Bank Governor Graham Wheeler, very conservative, um, Bollard, uh, more relaxed, and um, Brecht sort of a bit in between, I guess. A bit in between, okay. And how would you describe, uh, and I appreciate the fact that you haven't used any personal vector, but I'm giving you a chance to express your opinion. How would you describe or characterise Adrian Orr's governorship of the Reserve Bank? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not the biggest uh, fan right. of, of Adrian Orr uh, because, as I said, uh, sometimes it lacks transparency. Sometimes uh, his decisions seem to be uh, random um, to a level of times almost arrogant in the way he communicates his, uh, his messages and the times when everyone feels the pinch of this high inflation. I think we need uh, a bit more uh, transparency and honesty than simply blaming uh, a, a war in, in, in Europe on what is happening here. Mm -hmm take some uh accept some responsibility for what it, it's uh happening and, and and do your job christoph i thank you very much indeed for your time this morning and for giving me a sort of um official catch rate 101 lecture i i greatly need it and i thank you for your time i'm more than welcome you're more than welcome thank Jeez. you for having me christoph schumacher economist from massey university gdplive.net gdplive.net and i think he explained did you understand that kelly i think it may yes for, in layman's terms like me i'm just like oh, okay that's, that's interesting it, that's i knew what, what inflation all, was because yeah. that's kind of logical but, but all the relationships and yeah. everything all right so gdp we'll, we'll check that every week i reckon gdplive.net and he says basically that adrian or is secretive arrogant random and might tell fibs about the impact the war in Ukraine's had on your interest rates. But equally, he said, Christoph said, we got to push interest rates up further. Right? At the moment, the OCR official cash rate is around 4%. It should be 7% or just over when we have inflation at 73 to take a bit of heat out of the economy. Amazing stuff and interesting. Um, and can I just say something? Occasionally people text through questions while I'm doing an interview, please do. Because I actually look, and I did that there, what reason would the Reserve Bank have for decreasing the gap, says Chris. I, they do inform my interviews. It's a real-time experience here. It's why I don't like doing uh, pre-recorded interviews. I like them to be live, because I use the questions and the information and your questions. I am, after all, generally conducting the interview on your behalf.